Hey guys, so welcome back. I know you guys absolutely love that Christmas Christmas intro, so I tried to bring it back. Hopefully it does not get copyrighted. And if it does, well, if you guys see it disappear one day, that is why once again. But hopefully the person that makes that song is definitely not gonna copyright that song because, well, it's absolutely fire and it goes perfect with the OG feel that I want this channel to be. Uh, but yeah, today we have for you guys some cool stuff. We'll talk about the new update and some love event stuff and some scrap stuff from all the way back from 2018. So let's get directly into it so first things first from hypex uh some official and scrapped concepts via fortnite's ui artist brian radman and this is actually from 2018. now what's really cool about these is there's actually a bunch of ca calling cards or title cards uh it actually says player titles so this person's name then player title then all these custom titles and we can even see some unreleased like monsters whether it be for save the world or something else but i thought it was actually really cool and i just wanted to share it because well why not it's just awesome looking but yeah i mean it basically shows like number one victor rail that was scrapped in 2018 it shows like calling cards victor rails like big team victory team victory 50 vs 50 which man do i miss 50 vs 50 uh and just so much other stuff like even opening chest and it says the enemy team is like 200 points from victory there's a lot of cool stuff on here that just never got released and it's cool to see that this stuff is still around and it's slowly still coming out from past years so really hope that one day we see a little bit of throwback and we get some of these features that never came out ever that would just be very cool uh, but to kind of go with this, sort of, Hypex also said, uh, Fortnite began working on a new cosmetic type called uh, Apparel, and it looks like you'll be able to equip multiple items of it. No idea what Apparel means, though. Now, obviously, Apparel stands for, like, clothing or, like, you know, your appearance, you know, you're putting on stuff. So this could be for a new type of item shop thing. You know, it's been a long time since we got a new skin or cosmetic feature, like back blings or... Uh, a hat or something like that so I really wonder what the next thing is going to be so if you know what the next thing is going to be or want to speculate on what it's going to be definitely let us know in the comments below it's just so cool to think about that we're finally getting some new features for Fortnite cosmetics it's been years guys now speaking of Fortnite cosmetics we have for you guys from FNBR Intel the most used seven skins and we can see that the Imagine is still at the number one spot. And surprisingly enough, the Foundation is only at number three, Visitors at number four, the Scientist five, the Paradigm six, and I forgot the Origin at number two. I'm actually kind of surprised to see that the uh, Paradigm is not above the Origin, but honestly, the Origin has more, I don't know, like a cooler look to it. So kind of makes sense that the people would actually like that better. Continuing on with our video, I thought this would actually be a pretty cool topic, so we also have for you guys from Fortnite's, uh, I guess Reddit, it says, you are made the CEO of Epic Games. What are some of the first actions you are taking as CEO? And some of these are actually quite awesome, so let's go over them. Uh, so Eastman said, fix Team Rumble. And someone says, I don't play a lot of Team Rumble, what's wrong with it? Uh, yet that you would fix, and how? And he said, store moves extremely fast and it's just been broken for ages. At some point, it didn't even have the NPCs. As someone already posted, the OG 50 vs 50 team rumbles are what got me playing. And I'm not a massive battle rail fan. I like for spawning. Now, I can 100% agree with that. I miss 50 vs 50 more than anything in the game right now. I just absolutely love it. I love the disc disco domination and just LTMs in general. Like whatever happened to Fortnite LTMs, they're just missing completely. Take the green eyes off the Skull Trooper so that one guy quits posting about it. And I think he's talking about I Talk Fortnite. So someone tag him and let him know that someone's talking smack. Eradicate Discovery from existence. Bring back LTMs. Vouch. Fix the item shop. And hire people to fix the storyline. Also fix it the world and update it more. And someone said LTMs are very important for gameplay and keeping the game fresh. And shops are important for money. I think every week we get an LTM rotation and maybe every month a brand new LTM. The shop definitely needs to be fixed and I don't think I need to explain why. And yeah, so these guys know something. I'm just going to say that. Like, I think these guys are absolutely onto something when it comes to what should be brought back to Fortnite to completely revive it. And we even have for you guys this guy, which obviously just talks about, I signed a deal with YouTube to create a series that tells the story of Fortnite from chapter one on their Disney Plus or Hulu series, more likely. Now, I'm not going to read the entire thing as it goes for very in-depth, but definitely a great read. So check it out down below. So yeah, what would you guys change about Fortnite if you became the CEO? 
We also have for you guys this in the background video. Beyond hype for the Season 4 lab event. You already know it's going to be spectacular. I uh, can't wait for more info on it when 22.40 drops and the official announcement happens. And yeah, so Fortnite Nothing Remains is what he speculates is the lab event name. And that's actually a really good guess because obviously the main antagonist for the season is the Nothing. And we still have no idea what the Nothing looks like, so it should be a very cool thing to happen. And in case you guys forgot, the chrome is spreading extremely fast. This is the current progress of the Fortnite chrome spraying across the island this season. It's tough to see in game, so I isolated it to the rest of the map. And yeah, so check this out. So with that being said, I think a feature in Season 5 we should be seeing is Clombo returning. Check this out. Wait, wrong image. Anyway, so Chrome Clombo would just be so, so cool. And Glitch King actually showed that it's very possible alongside PQ who got this early inside the game. So Clombo could very well come back as a Chrome version. We are just waiting on that to see if it will come back next season, which we really honestly hope that actually happens. And not to mention, Clombo got some new physics as far as if he were to somehow fall on a building or destroy something, uh, there's actually an updated physics for the season even, so they definitely plan to bring him back, we just don't know when. And in case you guys missed this, this skin is coming either next update or early next season. It was released in the Rats Was Here spray today, and Epic has teased it in their latest tweet two days ago. So yeah, we finally figured out what this skin was going to be when they actually said, uh, grab the music fiend set in the item shop now and be on the lookout for one more member of the group soon. Of, the, of this friend group coming soon, my bad. Uh, but yeah, we found out it's actually this like... I don't know, cat skin, so that should be pretty unique. And alongside that, this actually might be for Season 4 as well. Or sorry, Season 5. There's an upcoming collab with the following text. Includes a built-in pickaxe, two backlings, and an emote, which we think could be this barium devil, or demon. Today, Epic added a new meta tag for the files that mentions an upcoming barium demon skin. The codename of the spray is also barium, so it's safe to say that the survey skin on the left picture will be added to the game very soon. So they are definitely working on the next season. These actually could be for the next upcoming battle pass as well. And alongside that, they already work on a lot of events, so that is also very possible. Here's a first look at the countdown that's currently unfinished. So we think the love event is going to be absolutely insane, and we are really curious to see what you guys want to see featured in this upcoming live event. Uh, but with that being said, my friends, that is about it for today's video. I wish there was more stuff to talk about, but I thought a more personal video uh, was actually better. So let me know what style of editing you guys prefer. This simple type of video with my face cam and just talking, or the other video that's fully scripted and edited uh, professionally, essentially, which is not really professional. It's just me doing it. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.